So it's March and we all know what that means. It's time to start thinking about our gardens. So if you want to see what mine looks like now and what my plans are, then keep watching. So I did the stereotypical thing that many people do when they get to their mid thirties and um, I suddenly developed a enjoyment, curiosity, even, I would probably say curiosity, with my garden and making the most of it. I've always tried to keep it like nice and tidy and, and do a good job with it for the kids' sake, but it's become something that I also enjoy. However, I would still strike myself as a enthusiastic novice and the garden is starting to bug me again now after like winter. I feel like I get to the point where it gets to about October and then everything starts getting really busy with Halloween and bonfire night and the run up to Christmas and it gets really cold and then it gets really dark so you don't really, you don't think about your garden as much or at least I don't because I just don't have the capacity to at that time of year and then we get through winter and we start to emerge, the nights get a little bit lighter and then I can see my garden more and I can go in it more because it's not raining and now I'm looking at it and it's starting to irritate me because there's a lot of jobs that need doing and I think a lot of the time with videos like this you'll see these like fancy transformations and you'll see like the after a lot more than perhaps you'll see the before. So I thought I would take you around and show you what it really looks like so that when we get to a point where it actually looks really pretty, we can be proud together and <laughs> we can see the progression. Um, so I'm gonna take you outside, slip some sliders on and give you a little tour. And I'm gonna tell you now, it's it's not perfect, it's messy. There's a lot of work that needs to be do it, done in there and I have not been out and actually done anything since last year. So, um, let's go and have a nosy. Come on. Hi, Mel. So, this is what you see when you first come into the garden and it's not very exciting, I will admit, but we're going to start over here. So down here, we have some spare old chairs and our hose and stuff. And that is like how I like water a lot of these things. Some of these are still alive, but they look slightly crazy. I cannot for the life of me remember what they are called because my mum um, gave them to me. But I'm going to make sure that I pull out all the dead bits and bobs, as you can see here. We have some old plant parts. All of this needs filling with some new flowers, which I'm half tempted to maybe go somewhere like affordable, like B&Q or B&M or something like that and just start there because I feel like that would be a nice, easy job just to brighten things up a bit. These, couldn't tell you what they are. I mean, even the pot can't tell you what they are, but they were from Home Bargain. So that's that's that corner. Um, these grow back really nicely every year. I'm really chuffed with them. But I, as I said before, there are still a few dead bits that could do with sort of being pulled out. Now the lawn, the lawn is a, oh, look at my cat. How freaking weird is she? There we go. <laughs> All the way over Elsa. So the lawn looks really bad at the moment, but what it's actually had done I don't know if you can see all of these little holes. It's not a football pitch for people with massive feet, don't worry. It's been aerated. So Mark and all of like the, the husbands in our friend group basically clubbed together and rented a, a proper aerator that was like a gas powered one. You had to pull the string to get it going. And it basically goes through all of your... Um, soil and like your grass and stuff and punctures these big holes in and it's to help it like air out get rid of like how boggy it is um and then what they're going to do next is like they're going to scarify it so it's probably going to look even worse and then mark's got this plan so the lawn this year for me is not my concern let's pray it works out because um it's not looking great right now it looks like it's been stampeded to be honest over here is our temporary poo bag bin that mark likes to fill up that way the spare bags there and it just 
is very organized like that and um, there's an extra hose as well this is a flexible one it's really easy to move around so sometimes i will attach that to our utility um sink and that's good because then we have warm water which is good for like paddling pools and stuff this is daisy's bike she'll be getting a new one soon we've got like outdoor electricity access another quick and easy job these lights i they're like a curtain light as you can see and up there but they are a little bit battered sometimes they still come on sometimes they don't so i'm, I'm partly tempted to look online and see if i can replace these because i do like it when they twinkle at night um, but i've had these for a few years now and as you can see they're getting quite old um, and really what i should have done and i'm not perfect so you'll have to forgive me here i should have taken them down every year but i haven't done and sometimes shit happens um, these little um wicker sort of hanging basket type things just need sort of everything coming out and new stuff putting in there i still have some leftover compost so i'll be able to do that quite easily i can refill some of these old pots with new little bedding plants um so i need to do this one this one and this one there are some signs of life up here but i feel like we could do a bit better than that um i've got a climbing rose here which this trellis is kind of just like sort of near in case it fancies it but i feel like i could do a better job of training this this year so i need to get some like wire and sort of train it onto there and encourage it to grow a bit bigger but this is probably obviously the biggest it's ever been i think i've had this for two years now um again there's signs of life here but i just need to get rid of all the dead stuff which is a relatively easy job um, can refill this with something new as well then the play area it's, it doesn't look great obviously this is literally as i found it now it doesn't look perfect the kids have been playing outside a bit more though recently because it's not absolutely freezing anymore but i need to weed it i may well get some more chippings because i tend to add like a new bag or two every year but this is actually the best it's looked after winter for years um obviously i repaired this last year you might have seen that in my series over on instagram but i just feel like everything needs weeding need to get rid of that cane there and just sort of tidy it up a little bit and then i feel like once that's done it just makes it all that more appealing this area here would actually be a really easy one to sort out because it's just dead things that need pulling out more dead things over here as you can see already my bluebells are coming through and i think we have the spanish version and they come through every year and they can be a really easy start for spring but then once they've died down i kind of have to pull all of these out and then leave it for space for other things to grow once they've died back my roses get really long and leggy so i'm actually tempted to cut them right down and um, they will grow back in time because i've done it before but ideally i would like them to stop being so tall uh, this one especially just goes up and it doesn't go out which would be preferable all of this needs to come out as well it's all just dead and same here really i just need to establish like what i want to keep and what i don't and tidy things up a little bit like there's just like weeds here and stuff and then hello Merlin hello my darling this whole area just needs weeding I bought some more bunting that you might have seen in a haul the other day because this one got shredded and I don't really know how that happened because yes general wear and tear but what attacked it that's what I want to know because these two bits here are just destroyed and um, I've still got some survivors over here but again I'll be replanting a lot in there. Um, I've got my hydrangeas coming on and all that. I just need to sort out my rug again. Again, just find bits to replant. Chives seem to survive everything, but the rest of my herbs haven't fared so well. But again, I haven't looked after them. But they just sort of need just neatening up a little bit. Do you know what I mean? I'm neat and tidy. I don't have a greenhouse. I'm not completely devoted to my garden like i just do what i can when i can as a parent um of children um, i want to cut these down a little bit as well and cut back a lot of these reeds um and just generally tidy up this area like there's some weeding to be done it's not horrific but it definitely needs doing sooner or later i've still got some compost left i need to sweep up all the dead leaves and then 
again just remove any dead bits from down here and um, tidy all this out this is actually purple tender stem broccoli which is I, I mean it's really quite taken over there it's got a mind of its own but we will be sorting all of this out I mean these are lovely not sure if you're just weeds to be honest but at least you're colourful um so yeah that is this section this section is one of my favorite places to come and normally i will sit on this chair which actually goes here and needs a good clean um but it is it's been neglected and it's fine um this is where i did my sweet pea arch last year so i will be doing that again and um, i this has gotten a bit rocky from like the storms and stuff we've had so i need to sort of make sure that this is more secure again before i start that but i bought this one um the Lathyrus uh sweet pea Lathyrus or something like that and it was from i think it was from b&m and they are meant to be more of a perennial version um, and I've also got climbing rose but I find with climbing roses like they, they take their time um, so that's that and then down here it's just a case of brushing up all of the dead leaves doing some more weeding this especially needs cutting back uh, we had to move the bench which is normally over there because um, the boys couldn't get like the aerator through but again loads of sweeping to be done we actually need to um get rid of these three things they're all too small now so probably go like well the scooters are knackered um and squeak and the wheels always stick but the bike could go to a charity shop and then again just more tidying up here and when i look at it on mass it's really intimidating but I know I will do it. I just find that with your garden, you just have to do it little by little when you can. And then eventually it all adds up to something pretty special. But I do need to get cracking with that. I need to get some more like little bedding plants for down here. So it's time to get started. The newest addition, actually from yesterday, this doesn't look like much right now, but this is actually an iris, a blue iris. Um, and my mum had an extra cutting of this from her garden. So this was from last year and she cut it back and you can see this new shoots coming through. And she paid Bill <laughs> some money to dig a hole and try and plant it. So I helped him with that last night. He was very chuffed with himself. And that should spring up lovely blue flowers when the time comes. But we really do need to get a move on. It's a very lovely garden as i've said before it's an established garden like the person that owned this house before me over 10 years ago now was um a bit of an avid gardener and i as you can see i'm, I'm trying and i'm learning and i don't always have the time for it but i know i can turn it into something beautiful because i've done it every year for the past few years so this is what we're starting with and i will try and document as i go I'll probably do little mini updates over on my Instagram and things like that. So if you're not already on Instagram, then come and find me over there because you'll see it more real time. And I will check in every week or so and show you where I'm up to. So that is what we're starting with. So if you've got any suggestions of like recommendations of things that I could plant, um, obviously I'm looking more for perennials for like some of my bigger pots if there are any that you can suggest that are like affordable as well because one thing I've really noticed with like gardening over the last few years is that it can get really expensive and I do have a mum who I'm really lucky always has like cuttings for me and is really knowledgeable as well but I also don't want to like harass her too much so if you are a gardener and you've got any suggestions whatsoever I'd be so grateful um, but I'm really excited to get started I actually find it quite therapeutic I love being outdoors in the fresh air and doing bits and bobs and um i just want to get it nice really for the kids so they can start to enjoy it as well and given that easter is literally around the corner it's so early this year i feel like i do need to try and get started a bit maybe this weekend just to get things a little bit nicer so that they can potentially enjoy it over the easter holidays but 
I've got my work cut out for me, I know, but if you've got any tips and tricks, any bits of advice, any suggestions of what I could do with different bits of the space, then let me know um, and I will hopefully see you very soon for another update. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.